Is the era of strict teachers over? Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. All right, settle down, everyone. Today's lesson is on a topic that has been buzzing around the school corridors lately: the era of strict teachers. Now, let me paint you a picture. Back in my day, if you didn't do your homework, you didn't just get a slap on the wrist. Oh no, you got an earful from Mrs. Gupta that could make your ears ring for a week. But times, my dear students, they are a changing. Nowadays, it seems like being a strict teacher is as outdated as a VHS tape. You know, VCR tapes. Parents these days, they're all about coddling their kids, spoon feeding them success, as if life's just one big bowl of instant noodles. But let me tell you something: life's more like biryani, complex, flavorful, and it takes time to get it just right. Take Mr. Sharma for instance. The man's got a rule for everything, down to number of times you can blink during his class. But ask him about quadratic equations used in word problems, and he's as lost as a chicken in a cricket match. Strictness without substance is like a samosa without the filling, crispy on the outside but hollow on the inside. But here's the thing, kids: strictness isn't about ruling with an iron fist or stifling creativity. It's about setting boundaries, instilling discipline, and preparing you for the real world. Because out there in the big bad world, nobody's gonna hold your hand and tell you everything's gonna be all right. You gotta have the grit, the resilience to weather life storms and come out stronger on the other side. So, is the era of strict teachers over? Maybe, but that doesn't mean we should throw discipline out the window like yesterday's trash. Because when push comes to shove. Is the lessons learned from those old school, no nonsense teachers that will carry you through the toughest of times? Think about it and share with someone who might need it.